So you want to have a free hosting and a free website into WordPress. You are in the right place, guys. I'm going to be showing you an amazing tool that can be helping you to improve and to get used into this amazing tools of the WordPress. So, so if you actually go into the WordPress.com and you can to get started, what you can be available uh, to do here is to create your very first account. But as speaking about the hosting, speaking about the website and all that, I believe that you are actually like good to go. We are uh, using a lot of templates. Um, but I believe that there's another way to have like a high impact to create some web without having to download because we can download a lot of tools of WordPress without having to get a plan, a basic plan into WordPress because if you didn't know this, what you need to do guys in order to get used to, let's say to, let's say receive money, to uh, send more applications, to download some plugins into WordPress, yes or yes, you need to of course have a plan already enabled into your actual uh, into your actual store so with that being said guys this is the reason why what you want to do is to create an account outside wordpress instead of just uh, creating that in here so uh, how can we do this how is it possible to do this what you want to do is to go into pantheon.io this one is going to be helping us to deploy a website really really fast and we're going to be helping us to host and have free connection here into into wordpress and even more places but into this video is going to be focusing into wordpress so what you want to do now is to go into the start for free and here i want to import the actual my first my last name my company name my work email and i want to type a passcode like this and then after that, I'm going to select this option. I'm going to paste that in here. I want to choose the country I'm currently living because this is really, really important in order to have the free hosting. So I'm going to type Mexico. I agree to the Pantheon terms of use and hit into sign up. And boom, voila, with that being said, we have now created successfully a account on Pantheon. So I'm going to type into the X mark. I'm going to type into login with email. And what I want to do is to paste here this um, sign in with this email. I'm going to type my passcode. I'm going to go into the answer mark. So uh, you're going to receive the course and email confirmation that you need to, of course, um, verify that. So after we are in here into the Pantheon, what I want to do is to create, of course, a new site. You can make migrate an existing site if you want to do but it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make the migration because you make you have to do some download some installation and you need to drag and drop um it's not so hard but it's going to be taking you much time much more time so i'm going to go into the create a site so instead of creating a site here into the wordpress i want to exit and from wordpress and i want to do everything inside pantheon so you're going to type the cms last site launch our traditional monolithic cm site with a few minutes to get started so you want to go into the wordpress like that and loading the dashboard so uh what i need to do is to name my pantheon site so you want to type let's say for example this title here's my pantheon debatable inside url so this is the host the free hosting totally for free and the region for my site in my case is the united states i want to leave this like that and last we have the upstream of the wordpress yes i'm going to continue and just like that guys pantheon what's going to be doing is creating our hosting or free hosting of our of our website so here's going to be having the actual dashboard and the deploying of the actual wordpress so we don't have to do absolutely anything here. Lastly, what you want to do is to, I mean, meanwhile, this has been successfully done. You can just start to look out for some researched uh, tools that can be helping you for your website. Let's say, for example, like a brand uh, design or a logo uh, design maker, like logo generator, or let's say like a brand name generator like this. And we have some brand name generator of name Fatso and I am having like an account, uh, let's say for this is on marketing research. So I'm going to type research. I'm going to hit into generate and here are all the options that I can use for my actual site. Low research, nudie research, intensive research, supposed research, light research, 
and so on and on. So uh, I just need to wait a few seconds here until the actual dashboard of Pantheon has created my account, my website, and the hosting. And there we go. So lastly, what I just need to do is to go into the visit your Pantheon site dashboard. And as you can see, now we are into the code, the development mode of the actual store. So there are no updates. This is the commit log. And lastly, you're going to go into the upper side and look out for the visit development site like this. And it's going to be sending us into WordPress. So you're going to type English, continue. And here you want to type a site name. So you're going to type, let's say, for example, the same one that I used of course, Pantheon. I'm going to type the same one as a username. And here is a passcode. So I'm going to copy this passcode. I'm going to paste it somewhere else because I do, sometimes I just uh, forget this. And here you want to type your email. So I'm going to copy and paste that in here. And I want to go into the style WordPress. So now, uh, our passcode is the one that we created and this is our username. So we go into the X mark, hit into the locked in and here you want to type your uh, your username and my passcode that I just paste that in here. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Oops, Daisy, I'm going to go back here and hit into the passcode and hit into locked in. And just like that, we are now into WordPress with free hosting and the actual website. So I'm going to go into plugins and I'm going to go into install plugins. I'm going to go actually into add new. And as you can see, we do have all of this uh, versions. It says compatible with your version of WordPress. So we don't need to update our actual website, our account, because we are now using the server, the hosting of the Pantheon. This one has been re redacted us into WordPress. So this is how we can do this in an amazing way. And if you think that this one actually does not work, go into the install, your plugin, install, hit into activate, and boom, the plugin has been activated right now. So um, it's going to be period, of course, in here, you can use the classic editor, you can always go into the settings and then actually good to go. If I go into my tool, it's going to be period in here. So um, lastly, guys, it's up to you now to just start working here into the pages, you can go into the dashboard, or you can go into the pages, you can add a new page, add new, like this, add new, and this is the new title to the FIQ section. This is an example of a FIQ section. And hit into continue. And there you go, guys. This is how we can actually start working into WordPress without having to pay for the actual WordPress because we have used it. Uh, another another server, another hosting. So with that being said, guys, we will reach into the very end of the video. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools about the Pantheon.io and the connection between that one into WordPress. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Have lots of fun. Best of luck to you, and I'll see you in the next video.